Hello and welcome to this episode of No Refunds Let's Play. And today we are continuing with Mario 64. My name is Dwight and let's get going. So when we last left off, we had done a little bit of Womp's Fortress and most of bob -omb Battlefield. Uh, as you can see here, we've got no secret stars yet. bob -omb Battlefield is still missing some. Um, so why don't we just finish off Womp's Fortress while we're here. Fall onto the caged island. I remember this one being difficult. Whoop. Hello, Mr. Owl. Who's there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? Press and hold A to grab on. Release A to let go. I'll take you wherever you want to go. As long as my wings hold out, watch my shadow and grab on. So, this, I remember was difficult. Can't even change the camera at all. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's turn around. I want to go to the left. Like, I want to... Ah, oh, jeez. Why isn't this thing flying the way I want it to? I think I've already missed it at this point. Oh yeah, definitely. That sucked. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Off to a riveting start. Kaboom. Alright. It's probably gonna yell at me again. Yep, don't care. Already read all that. Don't need you again. All right, let's go. So I don't like how it controls so much weirder than I remember. Go. Nope. <laughs> uh. Those moves are always super fun. It's like the reverse long jump. Instead of pressing Z and then jump, you do a long jump, you press Z and then attack to do a slide. I don't even know if that's like an official move or anything. Alright, so let's try this again. Let's loop around here. There's gotta be some sort of easy way to like always set up that. All right, nailed it. Second try. Third try. Second try on that life. <sighs> so, like I said, I'm playing this on, um, on an HDMI conversion, and it's filling up my widescreen TV now that I'm looking at it, which is interesting. Because I don't... I'm willing to bet this wasn't a widescreen game. So I don't know if it's stretched for you who are watching it. It doesn't look stretched to me. So... That's kind of neat. That's the right shot. Yeah. I know there's a way to shoot that and get the star at the same time. I've seen it done in speedruns. I don't know any tricks right now. Maybe, um... Maybe between play sessions at some point I'll look some up and see if there's anything fun or fancy that I can do. But we just finished Womp's Fortress. Easy peasy. Twelve stars. So once I get three, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the... Uh... Oh, it's good. Just kidding, I'm gonna do this now. I wonder how many it is then. Welcome to the wing cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all the red blocks you will find will become solid. Try out the wing cap. Do the triple jump and take off and press Z to land. Pull back on the control stick to go up and push forward to nose down just as you would flying an airplane. 
I still, to this day, play with inverted controls in um, <clears throat> any first-person shooter, much to the detriment of my friends who I can't pass controllers back and forth with them because of it. But it's just, I learned it, and I haven't been able to unlearn it. At least that's the bottom one, so anyway, I can get those. You've stepped on the wing switch cap. Wearing the wing cap, you can soar to the sky. Now wing caps will pop out of the red blocks you find. Would you like to save? Yes. I was afraid that was going to kick me out for a second. Where is that letter? No, that it's enough to get. Definitely be this. Oh, yes, got it. Didn't think I did for a second. Going. Oh, that would have sucked. We're going strong. And boom. Here we go. All right, one of the castle secret stars, our first one. Let's go finish off Bomb on Battlefield. Hundred coins and the stars in the sky. I'm just going to start off by doing the, as many coins as I can in this guy. Strictly because I don't like it when um, those are the last ones I need to get. Because then the star appears in the sky and getting it can be annoying. trick for this is really really simple aim at the middle and then you don't press anything you just shoot and you automatically dip in the right way it's a little bit tricksy but it's false it's not false it's fun <laughs> I got caught up in saying a hobbit thing That didn't even look like I got them all. I guess it's... I, I, do you just have to go through the rings? I always thought it was you have to get the center coin. Maybe it's just the rings. Huh. There's something new. options that the game gave you is so good. It feels so free. Or at least I found it annoying. Ah, 
So, if you're watching this and you've watched the other episode, um, have you ever played Super Mario 64? Um, it's very possible. I mean, it's one of the most popular games of all time. Um, if so, what did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Do you think it's overrated? Do you... I don't know. Are you really good at speedrunning it? Let me know. I've always... Like, what's your history with it? That's what, that's what interests me, is like, when did people first play something, or, like, what impact did it have on them? I remember the first time I ever played this game, um, I was in this thing called, uh, OM, which is, it was an old, um, like, it was a competition type thing for kids. I was in the fourth grade. Um, yeah, fourth grade. And so it's it was all about just like creative problem solving and you had to like create a, um, a skit around some sort of like technical element. Uh, I remember ours was based around um, building an android. I think is the technical term for it. Yeah, it wasn't a cyborg, it was an android. Um, and so, like, the android had to perform X amount of tasks, uh, like, sitting up and clapping, and I think we had, like, um, those, uh, like, fake teeth in it to make it look like it was, like, gah, 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 chattering or eating something. I don't remember. Um, but that was cool and fun. But, uh, so the, the woman who ran it, um, her son, who was on the team, had a Nintendo 64. And there was a couple of days where I had to, like, go over early before one of the meetings because my mom wouldn't have been able to drop me off or whatever. So we had to kill some time. And he had had, he had gotten an N64 and there was only two games out for it when it first came out. Super Mario 64 and Pilot Wings. And I remember he was super into um, Dune on the Sega Genesis. And I just couldn't fathom why somebody would want to play an older console, like the Genesis, over this. So I remember at his house, I played the, for the first time this game while he sat in the other room playing Sega Genesis because we he was older than me we didn't not that we didn't get along but we didn't have much in common um, so it's just that was the first time I ever played this game and I just remember getting so excited about how it felt and how it looked and just the fact that we were now video games were here as opposed to i mean all i had at home was a uh, super nintendo well i had a regular nintendo as well but like i had had the nintendo 64. Ooh. i might not have gotten this until much later now that i'm thinking about it no it must have been 97 because i think Star Fox came out in 98 Star Fox is one of my favorite franchises of all time. I will probably go through 64 at some point. If you want to see me play Star Fox 64, let me know. Um, speaking of things that I, I can play, uh, so I have ways to capture most... Um, yeah, I think any console that can hook up to a TV... I have a way of capturing it. Um, and I have most of them. The only thing I don't really have... Well, within reason. I have most of the Nintendo console... All the Nintendo consoles. I just don't really have um, some of the Xbox stuff. Like, I don't have Xbox One. But I've got regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, GameCube. Um, I have a PlayStation and a PlayStation 2, but I don't have many games for them. Um, oh, no message. Bomb on Battlefield's done. And so is Womp's Fortress. Let's move on to... I don't remember what it's called. Jolly Roger Bay? Dire Dire Docks? 
deep dark deep blue sea look just that look at like the the how smooth his animation was as he like opens the door and lifts the power star. So cool. Uh, yeah, but I can play any of those. A little glitchy. Weird. So if you have anything you want me to see, I have most games. If I don't have it, I'll let you know. But if I do have it, I would love to play it. Oh, man. The way that air works in this game is broken. Broken in both directions. Because, like, it can be good, because you can just keep on getting coins and you'll never run out of air. But, if you get hit, then you can drown super easily. So it's always been an interesting system to me. This is what I mean about, like, the atmospheric music. It's just... I love it. I always thought this was weird that there's um, windows in whatever this place is. It's like a... I've seen, like, um, in cities, like, lofts and stuff like that, that have, like, they're almost in, like, an old clock tower or something like that. That's what this looks like to me. It's weird. Here we go! I just figured I would grab that one while I was here. A little bit easier. moving in this game is so much fun. Jolly Roger Bay. Okay, I was right. Thunder in the shunk sunken ship. Shows you how much of a Mario fan I am when I can super remember the names of levels. Oh, oh shit. We're gonna. Oh, I'm cutting it close. Come on out, Mr. Eel. Gotta swim in front of him to get his attention. As a kid, I feel like I'm gonna be saying that a lot when I'm playing these old games. I remember being so scared to dive down there and stay down there because it felt like it would take forever to get back up to the surface, and I would just be afraid of dying. I already saw the eel was out, so. Alrighty. I played this game on the, uh, on the DS as well. Oh, this race was to touch the, uh... Ooh. Um... Nope. Nope. <laughs> I know the one up top is last. Or first! Oh my god, I thought that was last. Come on, give me the air bubble. No, 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 Underwater levels, no matter the game, are nerve-wracking. Oh, yeah. I can maybe... 
make it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Take that game. Kaboom! Alright. 17. Doing good. Doing good. Alrighty. Let's keep this up. This eel is the scariest motherfucker in the world. While I can get this guy. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. <laughs> Ready for blast off. Alright, remember that for later. There's a red coin up there. In the time that I ran back here to jump on this thing, I probably could have, you know, made it over there regardless. Ah, <sighs> you know what? I'm here. Screw it. I'm just gonna get this one while I'm here. Because why not? Who cares? We don't have to go in order. Oh, uh, what's the name of the level later? Dry Dry Docks or something like that? Where, um... The position that you jump in on the, uh, painting affects the water level in the, in the game. Like, this game is so smart with just the way... Oh, how's that for a shot? Maybe I should just do red coins. <laughs> that was awesome. But, like, they took the concept of creating a, or, like, just the paintings in this world, and they, they did everything they could. Wow, that was a lot closer than I thought I could get. Or farther. Four, five, six, and let's go tag that tail. And the seal. Does it go back in? I don't remember. Oh, bull. Oh, also equal bull. Got it. Okay, I can get that. As long as I don't hit the thing. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. <laughs> Bad luck. <sighs> Close. Now comes the real question. Will that star still be there? Or do I have to go through all that shenanigans again? Yeah, I didn't think so. If I don't get hit by it, I can do that sneaky thing. Should be a way to... Just... Oh, come on! How did I not get that? Once again, I call shenanigans. Got it. 
Hey, once again, as long as I don't get hit, I should be good. That was much cleaner. Oh, getting a star underwater. Oh, it's so cool. I didn't mention that the other time. Alright, let's keep on going at it. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm trying to decide when I want to do the uh, 100 stars or 100 coins. I tend to like to do it with um, with the six golden or six golden coins, six, eight red coins. Blah. Mario games. I tend to like to do it with the eight red coins just because it's a little bit. I mean, I'm already trying to get coins, so it's just inherently it makes sense because those usually have you going all the way around places as opposed to um like just that was smooth as opposed to just like a single place ow wow i am just beefing this up left and right where's the blue coins i know they're in here this this will bring me up to full and remind me for when I actually come through to do the, uh, the amount. Alright, let me see if I remember this. One. Two. No. One. No. One. Two. Almost timed it well. We got time for one more. Yeah, we got time for at least one more. Definitely. 20 stars. Currently, we're averaging about 10. Red coins. All right. What's the other one? Oh, it's going back. No. What is the... Oh, I, th I think the other one I can't do yet. I think you need... Um... A, uh, the metal cap to do it. So, let's go ahead, get some red coins, get some, get the hundred coins. That should be good. Alright, and die. Uh, Times like that when uh, draw distance in this game's a more of a help to you than anything. You can see where the red coin already is. Okay, I think the only way to get that one right there is with the uh, metal cap. There's a one up there. If you're in there. Yeah, it's not super important to me. I don't feel that. I'm going to be needing for one-ups. Although, maybe I'll get it regardless. Apparently, I did. So, I know there's Goombas in here. And this, which is important. Because, once again, without that, like, 30 coins, I don't know if we can actually get it. Oh, screw you. Alright, let's head back out. I've only gotten the one red coin. <laughs> let's head back out. Let's go and get some more coins. Oh, heal up first. That's it. Anywhere there's water in this game, you can uh, kind of cheese it and get full health that simply. I feel 
feel like... Oh. I don't know. It, I, it feels, uh... Very... Like I got a long way to go. I guess I just don't remember. I mean, every time I play the... Play through them, I do the red coins, or do the hundred coins once. No, that's really it. There's not a shell up here. I thought there was one on, like, a ledge. Yeah, there it is. Come on, open up. Alright. was one up here. We established that. The trick for this is he jumps the way his back is facing. Oop. Nope. Just looking for a long jump there. Alright. Alright, so 26 more. Oh. That's a bunch. Is it enough? Huh. Where are there more coins? I wonder if I have to do it in a specific one. Because this stinks. Because I'm five coins short. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. No coins in the air. Are there any more, like, in the water? Like, along the ground or in the front of where the eel was? Huh. Darn it. Darn, 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 darn it. That sucks. like some in the water over here? I must have tried this in the wrong... in the wrong slot. That sucks. Well... I'll just have to try it again in a different... different level. these things? Do they give me coins? Nope. <sighs> Darn it. Oh well. <clears throat> well, once I get this star, that's gonna wrap up this episode. Sorry for the uh, anti-climax there. What a, what a tease. I might just save this, uh, is 100 coins then for later because that's just rough oh well so anyways that's been this episode of uh 
No refunds, Dwight plays, no resets. Still haven't decided on a, on a title yet. I think I might go with just no resets, just because no refunds is the podcast, no resets is the, uh, the Let's Plays. So, cool. Thank you for checking this episode out. Um, look forward to seeing you in the next one, where we're hopefully going to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do for that one. All right, bye.